Okay, this video is called Tips for Baby Locks. And when I say baby locks, I mean baby locks, baby dreads, um, starter locks, starter dreads, um, new dreads, whatever you call them. Two strand twist and um, comb coils, braid locks, whatever. As you can see, I have some locks in, and they're fairly new. Um, they're not baby dreads anymore. They're teenagers. They're six months old, and um, they're budding. So I'm just going to give you all a few tips on how to keep your baby locks under control. Thumbs up for the Black History Month shirt. Okay, make sure that you sleep in a bonnet or a scarf or a do-rag or some type of, um, something to cover your hair up at night. Because if you don't, you could get lint in your hair. And I know you're probably thinking, like, lint, I'm not going to be sleeping on the carpet or nothing. But you'd be surprised what can get lint in your hair. Stuff like a jacket or some sheets or a pillowcase could even get lit in your hair. Like this jacket that I have on right here, it's very linty. That's why I don't even put the hood on because I have like little specks of red lint in my hair. So just be careful what you put your head on, especially when you sleep. Wrap your hair up. Okay, um, you need to go through um, your hair and pick out the little specks of lint. I would say at least once a week, maybe every two to three days. And if you can't get it yourself, have a family member, you know, parents, your siblings, or somebody get the part in the back. But you have to make sure you get it like soon as it gets in there before it embeds. If you leave it in there for more than a week or two, it's going to be embedded in your dread. So make sure you get it out like ASAP. Okay, now when you first get dreads, you'll go out and to the beauty supply store and see something on the shelf that says four locks or four dreads, and you'll buy it just because it says dreads. Don't go out and buy the whole line of Jamaican mango and lime just because you have dreads, you know, because most of the time that stuff don't even work. So get what you think is good for you, not just because it says dreads on it. Um, try sea salt water in your dreads. It'll help you lock it up faster. And I have a video about it, and I put the link in the description. Um, basically, it tells you everything you need to know about sea salt, and you can see my results from it. It'll help your hair to butt up. Okay, now this is very important. Once your hair starts to bud, um, sometimes it'll create the illusion of your um, roots thinning, but that's not the case because it'll be like, say this is your lock. This part will be budded, and then this part is just new growth, so it's not as thick as the bud. So when you twist it, it's like you'll think that the root is thinning, but that's really not the case. So just make sure if you think your hair is thinning, that it's really thinning, and it's not because you have a bud close to the root. Okay, try to stay away from sulfates and petroleum. Um, you're mainly finding sulfates in your shampoo. Look on the back of the shampoo before you buy it. And usually it'll say sodium lawrence sulfate. Sulfates are used, like, they're very harsh cleaning chemicals. They're used to degrease engines and stuff. And you don't want to put that stuff in your hair. Um, also, um, check out petroleums. There are a lot of petroleums that are in, like, um, products that you use to moisturize your hair. But um, I would recommend like oils, you know, almond oil, flaxseed oil, jojoba oil, um, coconut oil, because the petroleum can actually get in the pores of your um, scalp and actually calm your pores and prevent your hair from growing. Make sure you oil your hair when necessary. I know a lot of y'all out there be trying to uh, preserve your retwist, so you're like, eh, I don't want to put oil in it because it's going to make it frizzy and I just got a retwist. Well, if you're worried about that, you can buy oil in a spray bottle or you can actually buy oil and then put it in a spray bottle and just spray it on your hair and it'll oil it up without, you know, making it all frizzy. Um, don't swim in chlorine water until after almost all of your locks have budded because if you swim in chlorine, you have to wash it out and you're not going to be able to wash it out unless you're really scrubbing in there and you don't want to scrub baby dreads when you wash them. Now make sure that you embrace the frizz because once you get to about three or four months, your dreads are going to be frizzy no matter what, every day, after a retwist, before a retwist, after you wash it, no matter what you do. So just embrace it because there's nothing else you can do. Just love the frizz. 
if you work out a lot, try not to work out as much as you would because you're going to be sweating and you don't want your baby jazz to be all sweaty, but don't have them too sweaty because it can really make them unravel. Okay, make sure you wash your hair as needed. If you sweat a lot, just make sure you wash your hair. You know, I know a lot of locticians out there tell you, oh, wait five months, wait six months before you wash your hair. No, that's nasty. Don't wait all that time because, it's like, your hair is just going to be, you know, a multiplying ground for bacteria and germs. And don't feed into that stereotype of having dirty jugs. Wash them, I mean, wash them within the first month, you know, because they're going to be dirty. Just don't have them dirty. Now, when you wash your hair, you need to use a stocking cap, a wave cap, or you can even um, cut up some old pantyhose that you have, but cover your locks with it completely, and take some shampoo and water, dilute it, put it in a, um, a bottle, shake it up together, spray it in your hair on top of the, um, the stocking cap, and just lightly massage it in there. You don't want to scrub it because when you scrub it, you're going to make your baby dreads unravel. And you want to um, wash with the stocking cap for about the first maybe four to five months, maybe even six, depending on your texture. Uh, wash it like that till your hair buds up. Okay, whatever you do, do not use conditioner on your new locks. It will do nothing but unravel your hair, especially don't use leave-in conditioner or don't use detangler conditioner because conditioner basically is just to unknot your hair up. If your hair is knotted when you wash it, it just takes the knots out. And that's what you want. You want your hair to knot up and mat up and lock up. So basically conditioner is just unlocking your, your hair and furthering your locking process. I will say don't use conditioner for the first maybe six months. I still don't even use conditioner in my hair. I'm probably not going to start using conditioner until maybe two months from now. But the reason why I say don't use leave-in conditioner is because it causes buildup and your hair will have little specks of white creamy conditioner in it. And you just don't want that because it's not, it's not cute. It's not appealing. It's I'm very observant. And when I stand behind somebody in line with dreads or I sit behind somebody in class with dreads, I look at their dreads, you know, I um, I wouldn't say inspect them, but I look at them, you know, and what I mainly notice is in the back row a lot or close to the ends if they have longer dreads, um, they'll have build up in it, like, or lint, little specks of white lint or colorful lint, and I look at that like, ugh, you know, I don't want that to be me, and I know you don't want that to be you, so just pick the little specks of lint out when you get a chance. Now, when you get done washing your hair, use a dark towel to dry your hair, and don't take it and just rub it in your hair. Put it on top of your hair and just pat it dry. And the reason I say use a dark towel is because just in case lint gets in your hair, you want it a darker color so it won't be as visible. But remember, you have to pick the lint out anyway, but just to be sure, make sure you use the dark towel. Don't over twist your hair. This goes for the self twisters and those of you who go to um, a loctician to get your hair done. Make sure that if you go there and you see them, they're twisting your hair to the point where the root coils up and it doubles over itself and it actually looks like a coil, like they just keep twisting and twisting. Don't do that to your own hair and don't let anybody else do that to your hair because it'll thin your root and one day it'll cause breakage. Okay, make sure that you only retwist when you have new growth. I know a lot of you out there be like, oh, my hair is frizzy, I need to retwist it. Don't retwist it just because it's frizzy. Retwist it because you have new growth. Because it's like, if your hair is not growing, you just, you just retwisting the same new growth and the same new growth, just making it thinner and thinner and more susceptible to breakage. Um, don't use heavy products to retwist your hair like shea butters and creams and waxes. I would recommend something more light like a gel, something transparent and light that you could just rub between your fingers and it won't be like all uh, thick and sticky and greasy because that will cause build up in your hair. If it will a residue on your hand, it will leave residue on your hair. So don't use no heavy products. If you self-retwist, um, use a mirror to try to preserve your parts. Also use a comb or a pick to um, straighten out the parts if you need to. And make sure you just get them lined up. Well, if that's the look you're going for, if you're going for the neat jugs, then go ahead and make sure you do it like that. 
when you retwist your hair, make sure that you use clips and start from the back, like put it all up in a ponytail or, you know, if you can't fit it in a ponytail, separate it somehow, you know, put it in a bunch of little ponytails, leave the back out, start in the back row and just work your way up row by row until you get to the front. Set your hair the way you want to wear it. If you want to wear it all pulled back in a headband or a ponytail, twist your hair to the back and clip it to the back. If you want a bang in the front, you have to twist it to the front to where the bang will be. So you get the idea. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Those are just a few things that I learned through research and experience of having dreads myself. So comment, rate, subscribe, like, share with all your friends. Do what they do. Peace. Sha Sha Baby Away. Check it out.